It is time for us to restore this country's dignity, this country's respect. I got my education for real in the black church. And that's not hyperbole, it's a fact. I can think of no one better suited, better prepared, with the integrity, no one more committed than my good friend. Joe Biden. The country's looking for a result. I know, Joe. They're looking for is security. We know, Joe, but most importantly, Joe knows us. The country's looking for some hope. We can and will overcome. This is Joe Biden's neighborhood. We need a president who understands working people. Joe Biden, who's never owned a stock in his life because he didn't want to be beholden to a corporation. We need Joe Biden from Scranton, Pennsylvania, who took the train to Washington instead of private jets, who knows the dreams and fears of the men and women who get up every day before the sun to provide for their families. Joe Biden knows we need change, but change that will restore the values that made America great. Freedom, fairness, opportunity for every American to build their own future. Because democracy is built, not bought, by the strong and the free. Build the future. Joe Biden for president. I keep my family safe. If we entrust this nation to Joe, he will do for your family what he did for ours. We need a candidate that can best unify all of us, and that is Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden for president. Joe has the character and the experience to guide us through one of our darkest times and heal us. It's about you. It's about us. This is your campaign. We have a chance to choose a better future. The coronavirus does not have a political affiliation. It will infect Republicans, Independents, and Democrats alike. And will not discriminate based on national origin, race, gender, or zip code. It will touch people in positions of power, as well as the most vulnerable in our society. This disease could impact every nation and any person on the planet. We need a plan about how we're going to aggressively manage here at home. No president can promise to prevent future outbreaks. But I can promise you this. When I'm president, we will be better prepared, respond better, and recover better. Vote for Joe Biden in numbers that cannot be ignored. 18 million out of work, a virus raging out of control while Russians pay the Taliban to kill Americans and Trump and his friends destroy the post office. That's enough. We've had enough. We need a president. We need competence, fairness, honesty. We need Joe Biden. 
From the day he entered the Senate, Biden has never owned a single stock because he never wanted to be beholden to corporations over American workers. He'll bring our nation together while giving workers and young people the tools they need to meet the challenges ahead. And he'll do it by honoring the values that made our country great. Freedom, fairness, opportunity for every American to build their own future. Because democracy is built, not bought, by the strong and the free. Build the future. Joe Biden for president. The most basic duty of government is to defend the lives of its own citizens. Any government that fails to do so is a government unworthy to lead. There'll be a lot of death, unfortunately. There will be death. We are Americans over 50. For a generation, we voted for Republicans for president. Now, America's elders are dying faster than any other group. So what does Trump do? And this is their new hoax. It's like a miracle, it will disappear. Lies about COVID. He tries to cut billions in testing. He sues to take away our health insurance. And when we stand up, he tweets that we could be terrorists. There'll be a lot of death. They are dying. That's true. It is what it is. Nobody knows the system better than me. When you give away $1.9 trillion in tax cuts to the richest of the rich, how do you pay for it? By cutting from health spending including the entire pandemic response team. Some of the people we cut, they haven't been used for many, many years. Trump cut the department and the people who ran it. Rather than spending the money, and I'm a business person, I don't like having thousands of people around when you don't need them. And now he lies about it. And when you say me, I didn't do it. You say we did that, I don't know anything about it. All America is paying for his incompetence. The Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus and this is their new hoax people are dying this is reality not reality tv no i don't take responsibility at all Not say that there's alternative facts is going to lead to people dying. They have said you got rid of the pandemic office. We didn't do that. That turned out to be a false story. 100 to 200,000 deaths. I think I've done a really good job. We do not fight them alone when outbreaks of disease ravage populations. Did you know I was number one on Facebook? It's going to disappear one day. It's like a miracle. It will disappear. People are going to get killed over these lies. Nancy Pelosi has called it the Trump virus. Based on the way we were treated, we're probably entitled to another four after that. And in fact, clearly, it is the Trump virus. Two weeks ago, I put out my roadmap for opening our schools. It's a plan driven by science. Another plan I hope the president would at least listen to. We all want our kids back in school with their friends and teachers. They're doing it safely in other countries. But other countries have real leaders who took COVID seriously. We have Donald Trump. This thing's going away. It will go away like things go away. He refused to make hard decisions. So now he's forcing you to make the toughest decision of your life. Your child's education 
or your family's health. One thing's for sure, though. In November, you'll have the easiest decision of your life. If I'm elected president, our students and educators are going to have all the tools and resources they need to get us through COVID-19 so that every child has a chance to succeed in the 21st century. News of the world, February 6, 2020. The United States is attacked by a deadly enemy bent on the destruction of the American way of life. But Americans fight back. Within weeks, the War Production Act sends millions of tons of equipment to the front lines for our soldiers are the best equipped in the world. The nation's factories hum as millions of tests roll off assembly lines to keep our families safe. Neighborhood tracing drives and tracking wardens keep the enemy away from our cities. And as the world suffers under the yoke of despair, America defeats the enemy in record time. America, always rising to the challenge. Operator Harris, where is your emergency? Somebody kicked in the door and shot my girlfriend. You saw these thugs that came along? These people call them protesters. Isn't it beautiful? Say her name. Breonna Taylor! Breonna Taylor! Breonna Taylor's in a grave, and you won't say her name. Breonna Taylor! Um, uh... Say her name! Breonna Taylor! What? Uh, As one of the leaders of this league, I, I want her family to know that we feel for it and we want justice. Very fine people on both sides. Would right you like me to condemn right proud boys. Process and right proud, proud boys. boys? Stand back and stand by. Stand back and stand by. We will kill you. That's the Proud Boys in a nutshell. Portland, the sheriff just came out today and he said, I support President Trump. I have never supported Donald Trump and never will. Like, me thinking it's relevant that I can win a, an argument with, like, a crackhead. Well, it's hard to get any word in with this clown. Excuse me, this Hey, hey let me person. just... And that's the line. By the way, that's the line for the evening. Are you willing, tonight, to condemn white supremacists and militia groups? That's like, are you against evil? Um, why the president didn't just uh, knock that out of the park, I'm not sure. Right, Proud Proud boys, boys, stand back and stand by. But Donald Trump blew the biggest layup in the history of debates by saying not condemning white supremacists. I've gone head to head with Putin and made it clear to him we're not going to take any of his stuff. He's Putin's puppy. Some people don't. Well, but here's it. With you, yeah, you it. Wait a minute. Just was babbling and ranting and yapping. Over uh, the last four years, you have promised to repeal and replace Obamacare, but you have never in these four years come up with a plan. Like somebody tweets on massive amounts of cocaine. I got rid of the individual mandate, which was a that big is not joke a of Obama. Plan. That is absolutely a big thing. That was the worst I, I part of Obamacare. Chris, You're that was the worst part me. of Obama. Let me ask my question. Well, I'll, I'll ask Joe. I, 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 the individual I, I, mandate was the most unpopular Mr. aspect Mr. of Obamacare. President, I got rid of it. I'd like to know. What's at stake here is the president's made it clear he wants to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. He 
have waited and waited and waited. He still doesn't have a plan. 40,000 people a day are contracting COVID. In addition to that, about between 750 and 1,000 people a day are dying. When he was presented with that number, he said it is what it is. Describe Donald Trump tonight. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Sarah. Sarah. Chaotic. Rob. Unpolished. Ruthie. Crackhead. These are largely false claims the president has made before. These weren't one-time slips or gaffes or errors. These have been fact-checked, and he keeps saying them, and they're still wrong. And You're the, the worst way, president voice. America has <laughs> ever had. Hey, Come hey, on. Let me Americans love freedom, family, security, safety. What Americans don't love is chaos. It makes us feel unsafe, uneasy. When a child crosses state lines with an automatic weapon to shoot at protesters, that's chaos. Somebody taught that kid to think that way. Somebody taught him that AR-15s belong in a political debate. Who do you think that could have been? Knock the crap out of him. The audience hit back, and that's what we need a little bit more of. Any guy that can do a body slam, he's my guy. They're animals. Please don't be too nice. Like everything else, it comes from the top. QAnon movement appears to be gaining a lot of followers. You understand they like me very much, which I appreciate. Trump is chaos and division and violence. Can we take four more years? You have to stand against violence in every form it takes. I'm a wartime president. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? Donald Trump delivered a declaration of war against American citizens. Knock the crap out of her, would you? Seriously. I love the old days. You know what they used to do to guys like that? They were to play They'd be carried out on a stretcher. Part of the problem is nobody wants to hurt each other anymore. I'm a wartime president. Your vote is precious, almost sacred. I lived this before. Too many people struggled to make it possible for every American to exercise their right to vote. The American people have the ability to see what can be unburdened by what has been. Now is the time for all of us to stand up and say enough is enough. We must stand up. We must vote. 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 I'm announcing the House of Representatives moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry. This is a clear and unprecedented abuse of power. I would recommend that they start an investigation into the Biden. China should start an investigation. He's becoming self-impeachable. No one is above the law. So you did ask Ukraine to look into Joe Biden? Of course I did. Contact your senators today. Urge them to put country over party. When the time comes, we're counting on them to be patriots and vote to remove Trump from office. You could charge the president of the United States with obstruction of justice after he left office. Yes. There's a paper trail. If it was a secret vote, 30 Republican senators would vote to impeach Trump. What did you want President Zelensky to do about Vice President Biden and his son, Hunter? Are you talking to me? These are the people Trump doesn't want you to believe. The media, Woodward, Republicans, governors, FBI directors, police officers, generals, Gold Star families, mothers, his own advisors, his own family, former employees, experts, whistleblowers, activists, scientists, world leaders. This man is a pathological liar. He is a cheat. A racist. Donald Trump is a phony, a fraud. One of the most disheartening Who's left? Vote November 3rd. I just want to remind people, Donald Trump asked us, What do you have? Four years. What do you have to lose? What the hell do you have to lose? Jobs. Voting. 
health care, environmental protections, our social safety net, the right to peaceful protest, our standing in the world, a third of our economy, and our promise to those yearning to breathe free. Progress that took decades to achieve is slowly being stripped away. We all have something to lose if Trump and his enablers win the White House this November. And we've lost a lot. Which is why Democrats will be ticking with Joe Biden. Joe Biden's policies put China first and America last. Joe Biden's entire career has been a gift to the Chinese Communist Party and to the calamity of, of errors that they've made. They made so many errors. Do you trust that we're going to know everything we need to know from China? I do. I do. I have a great relationship with President Xi. We just signed probably the biggest deal ever made. I just spoke to President Xi last night, and, uh, you know, we're working on the, the problem, the, the virus. It's, uh, it's a very tough situation, but I think he's going to handle it. I think he's handled it really well. If you can count on the reports coming out of China, that spread has gone down quite a bit. Uh, the infection seems to have gone down over the last two days. As opposed to getting larger, it's actually gotten smaller. China seems to be making tremendous progress. Uh, their numbers are way down. Yeah, and of course, on January 24th, he tweeted that uh, the American people uh, were grateful to President Xi for being so transparent and doing such a good job on the coronavirus. What do you have to lose? Jobs, voting, health care, environmental protections, our social safety net, the right to peaceful protest, our standing in the world, a third of our economy, and our promise to those yearning to breathe free. Progress that took decades to achieve is slowly being stripped away. We all have something to lose if Trump and his enablers win the White House this November. Just ask his family. He is utterly incapable of leading this country, and it's dangerous to allow him to do so. America cannot afford four years of Donald Trump. If he wins, what will you lose? What do you have to lose? Lose, lose. I will build a great wall, impenetrable, tall, powerful, beautiful. He wanted a wall. I would build a wall like nobody can build a wall. He got one. The wall of Musk arrived to cheers. A massive show of solidarity. A wall of veterans vowing to protect protesters. This is what happened in one time. Everybody's walking, everybody's making noise. Standing up for what we know is right. He wanted a wall. Are the wall. Jobs, 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 health care, affordable health care, school, schools, unity over division, education, bipartisanship, wildfires, be safe. You know, I was number one on Facebook. Donald Trump may be the greatest of all time, but nobody likes me. I got the Nobel Peace Prize nomination and they didn't cover it. Honestly, it looked like a million and a half people. Jobs, jobs, health care, affordable health care, economic recovery, education, education, jobs, education, jobs, jobs, health care. We have to unite. Grace, hope, empathy, decency, and unity. I know that Joe Biden will move us forward. He is compassionate, smart, kind, a man of faith. He knows what it's like to live in a real neighborhood. He's most comfortable around everyday working class people. I could tell that my life meant something to him. He's felt that dread of never knowing if your deployed loved one is safe. He made me more confident about something that's bothered me my whole life. He made me a better president. He knows what it takes to rescue an economy. And puts working people first. He can bring people together to find common ground. For a public health system that keeps us safe. Paid sick leave while you work. High quality child care. Clean energy, jobs and infrastructure lead us out of this crisis just like he's done before. Who will bring all of us together to build a better future. This election is the most important in the history of this country. We need Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden as our next president. We stand with Joe Biden.
We know Joe, but more importantly, Joe knows us. If we have any hope of ending this chaos, we must vote. Vote, vote. vote for Joe Biden like our lives depend on it. It's about dignity. It's about respect. It's about being able to look your kid in the eye and say, honey, it's going to be okay. Your next vice president of the United States, Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris knows you've got to be fearless. And Joe, I'm so proud to stand with you um, because we need our country to heal and we need to do better. And that's a big part of the plan, which is build back better. As Attorney General, Kamala fought the big banks that took advantage of homeowners across the country, and she won. I firmly believe, I firmly, in my heart and in my soul, know that this is the most important election of our lifetime. Kamala Harris will be a fearless fighter. So to everyone keeping up the fight, you are doing something. You are doing something great. You are the heroes of our time. Character, experience, empathy. Vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. I believe in Joe. I really believe in him, and I have known him for a long time. Vice President. Joe Biden has selected Kamala Harris as his running mate. If we stop fighting, we will never get there, and so we fight. That is the strength of who we are as a nation. The strength of who we are as a nation has always been about fighting for our ideals. Look, Senator Harris is the ambassador to be in who she wants to be. One of the things that we need right now is we need a leader who really does care about the people and who can therefore unify the people. And I believe Joe can do that. Um, she can be president someday herself. Healthcare justice is on the ballot in 2020. Environmental justice is on the ballot in 2020. Racial justice is on the ballot in 2020. And Joe Biden is on the ballot in 2020. Joe Biden has chosen Kamala Harris as his running mate. We will elect Joe Biden as the next president of the United States. Character, empathy, experience. Vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris in 2020. Character matters. And, and the thing I've got confidence in, Joe, is, is your heart and your character and, and I've seen you with families that have gone through tragedies. There's two ways in which presidents motivate people. By doing something really ignobling, important and people go, oh, or to do something really bad. This guy has generated a sense out there that people are waking up to that he ran by deliberately dividing people. I think people are now going, I don't want my kid growing up that way. You know what it's like, as much as anybody, to be in the White House during a crisis. You know what it's like to have to get laws passed through Congress. You know what it's like to deal with foreign leaders. Uh, you know what it's like and how lonely it can be to make tough decisions where not every decision is going to be perfect, but you got to make them and take responsibility for it. Democratic presidents have always taken responsibility for America's national security and always will. The kind of government that cares about people and brings people together. Character, empathy, experience. Vote for Joe Biden. This job is not about me. It's about you. For that's what the presidency is. The duty to care. To care for all of us. Not just those who vote for us, but all of us. In some of our darkest moments of despair, we've made some of our greatest progress. We're the only nation in the world that goes through crisis and comes out better. We stand together, finally as one America, we'll rise stronger than we were before. We'll move that arc closer to justice. This is the United States of America.
There's never been anything we've been unable to do when we set our mind to do it and we've done it together. Together. A lot of attention this morning on Joe Biden's economic plan. Franklin Roosevelt was the first president I ever voted for. Franklin Roosevelt, energetic, progressive. It was Franklin Delano Roosevelt who gave hope to a nation that was in despair and could have slid into dictatorship. The Great Depression had reached a pinnacle. People really wondered whether we would ever get out of this. Roosevelt unleashed a flock of programs. Building the infrastructure of this country. FDR put his faith in the forgotten man, the ordinary American. The fact is, every Republican has much to learn from studying what the Democrats did right. A commitment to rebuilding America and its infrastructure. Franklin Roosevelt pledged a new deal in a time of massive unemployment, uncertainty, and fear. And we can as well. As soon as my daughter was born, I became more active. I want to be a part of the fight. We've always protested together. Yeah. For our uh, 11-year-old, this was a massive step out of the house just that that wake up call the cars are honking and they're going past and we've all we've all got signs but it wasn't rowdy and it wasn't violent i kneeled down my daughter kneeled down you you feel the power of community in those moments you needed to feel like you weren't alone you really felt like okay this might this might change something just a little bit that's so much of what this movement is is making sure our kids are growing up in a better safer world we want all kids to have a better future and we can feel it i think when we're together My daughter came home and was feeling like, oh, I can have something to say about this too. This isn't just for adults. This is the kind of moment that she's going to remember for the rest of her life. The the feeling that, oh, we're going to actually do it this time um, was just pretty, pretty rad. <laughs> I had to be there to do something. It just felt important. I couldn't not say anything for one more second. I was going out with my teenage daughter. Mom, I need to go to this protest. The one that I went to was two blocks away. People showed up with their children, parents pushing their kids in strollers, mothers, the wall of moms, linked arms in front of the protesters. Moms. 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 As a mom, we teach our kids to be kind. It's for you too. Like, we need to live in a better society and we have to do something better. So we went out there like being angry all the time. There was, there was like, like a positive thing. I hope it's the start of something. When you're out there, you feel like this is our country. This is who we are. This is who we actually are. I was really moved by what I've heard these moms say. and that when George Floyd called out for his mama, he summoned all moms. Vote for Joe Biden in numbers that cannot be ignored. 18 million out of work, a virus raging out of control while Russians pay the Taliban to kill Americans and Trump and his friends destroy the post office. That's enough. We've had enough. We need a president. We need competence, fairness, honesty, we need Joe Biden. From the day he entered the Senate, Biden has never owned a single stock because he never wanted to be beholden to corporations over American workers. He'll bring our nation together while giving workers and young people the tools they need to meet the challenges ahead. And he'll do it by honoring the values that made our country great. Freedom, fairness, opportunity for every American to build their own future. Because democracy is built not bought by the strong and the free. Build the future. Joe Biden for president. Show your heart to the world. I'm glad I waited for you to appear. Now the future's clear. I'm glad I waited, knew you'd come along. We'd sing the same song. The heart of this nation still beats with kindness. Forever singing our song. Americans have never been afraid to speak up. That's how this country began. It's how abolitionists protested slavery. How women won the right to vote. How civil rights became law. Americans have always marched to confront injustice. To make this country a more perfect union. The right of the people peaceably to assemble. That's America. America, it's your choice. This election season, speak up.